Okay, so uh, the drill we started with is, you can move out of the way. Uh, the drill you started with is just this. Boom. Boom. To go into more detail is just generally for slow training, you want to not push into the mat. Okay? Instead, the way you can imagine it is that there's a hook on the top crown of your head. So not the top of your head, because that would violate the chin position. So boom, here. And everything is hanging from that hook. Everything. So I'm not knees locked, standing straight up. You're going to fall. You get the chin positioning, the crown positioning, and then everything hangs from that. And you start to sink into the mat. Okay? So this ability to relax and not press into the mat is a precursor to not bracing tend to do, to brace onto the mat, as opposed to letting their energy through you to the mat, letting it back through you out to them if you were doing coq, or letting it in through you, coming back out and matching their level of energy for the icy adhesion. But in either case, I'm very relaxed and kind of hanging and sinking into the mat from that, as opposed to push, pushing on the mat which will only happen, or has to happen, with lower leg tension. Now, even if you, you tense your shoulders, you might feel like, oh, I'm really tense there, but you're tense in your lower legs too, okay? Uh, and you're pushing into the mat. And you can't do the internal aspects of the arc. So slow training or static training uh, should have this hanging, relaxing feeling, okay? So that you can get it. You still have the kirigash to do, all right? So some things to pay attention to. Um, as I move into this stance, if my foot goes wide into this kind of kamae, the only way you did that is you pushed with the left foot. So if I had the hanging principle, that's about how deep I can be and let that foot hang. Uh, in order to go past, further out from my hips, you had to push with that foot to do that, you see? And so now you're gonna push again, turn, push again to get that distance. Instead, let it be a hanging drill, hanging drill, drop. Drop, drop. We already told you where to focus. Lower legs, pay attention to your lower legs. Release the lower legs. We gave you an intention tool, hanging, boom. Next thing, there is a rotation. This, this rotation that you're doing, this imaginary point. You, yes, there's a line of attack, but there's a point of attack too. So yes, you could extend the line of attack from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, but I'm actually the target, so there's a point. It's always going to be on 12 to 6, but it's not back there. It's, in, it's around here, okay? And that's what I go around. So around that point, around that point, drop. There it is again. Around that point, drop. Thirdly, watch that as with everything, you have to do this, but you can go too far. You see? 
Now I'm in some goofy ass, totally not martial stance. Do you see that? I'm in this crazy ass tightrope thing. When you bring back the sword and you do that stuff, so I come around, you get this weird angle. You see? That is, what the heck is that? Okay? Where does this sword want to cut? This sword wants to cut over here. But that is where the target was. You got it? So, when you're talking about hiding, that means tension free. Tension free. So, when you come all the way around again, there's tension in you. How do you know? Just, just relax. You, you can't stay still. You see that? You could feel, oh yeah, across my inner knee. Across my inner knee. I went way over, oh god dang, across my inner knee. Usually you get so used to that that you think that's good form, but you were told, drop and relax. Okay? So you try to do it, but yay, dude, holy cow. You're on the tightrope, and you got tension all in your ankles and your knees, which is not correct. And you have the incorrect angle for the attack of your own. Okay? So let's get those three things going. Go. Okay, so this is a, a pair drill in, in relaxing, okay? Well, what we're ultimately trying to do is uh, get the hanging sense so that I can bring that into my cocu and uh, the hanging sense of the sword. Not, you see that? This, a lot of people think this is coq. This is not coq, okay? Here, that, the way it bounced back up, that's coq. Do you understand? That, that energy went down, came back out, and the sword bounced up. So this is not coq. That's just tension, okay? So. Relax. That part comes up. So you have to learn how to hang, okay? So I'm gonna be doing that in the pair drill, okay? So first you're gonna watch me and then I'll, I'll show the Uke rule, okay? But he's gonna do his best. So I come up and I'm just doing that drill. <laughs> I'm just doing my drill. Okay, now I have to show his drill. His drill. Okay, now remember, Uke is always working on the same thing that Naga is working on. So Uke is always hanging too. Okay. So I'm gonna recommend that you get let go of your your uh, samurai fight. Take your hand off of it because it'll make you make you. Oh, Okay, so we're gonna take our hand off of it. And the, the, I'm hanging the same way with my body, and so is the sword, the sword's hanging. I'm not putting tension into it, okay? So as he goes up, I'm just resting on him, do you see? I'm not fencing him. I, I've moved so that he picks my sword up and lets my sword fall, okay? <clears throat> Move, put it on his, let my sword fall. It's on him, let it fall. On him, let it fall. And you can see, if I may, you're too square. Right. You see that? So you need more obliqueness to this stance. So a lot of you are changing. You're clearing the line, but you're clearing the line square. Square, you see? So your hips are square. That means you didn't do the rotation we talked about. You just turn like this. You didn't rotate here. Rotate here. Do you see that? So you see how much more oblique I am? This is where a lot of you are. And don't change it for now. As a result, as he goes up, you hit the elbow. You see? Boom, up, hit the elbow. 
You see that? Because that elbow did not get pulled back with the hip. Because we did not rotate on a single pivot point, we just changed our angle like this. Okay? Your pivot point is somewhere back here if you pay attention. It's around here. Whereas the other one is over here. Boom. Boom. Over here. Back here. You see? Okay. Try the drill again. Um, the drill is very difficult. We, we can't get to the drill because the uke cannot do the settling. And just like in Kihon Waza, uke's uh, understanding of the internal aspects is a subtler understanding, which means it requires more skill. Okay? Um, I have a feeling that the reason modern nage went with choreographed uke is they didn't need the the skills. They didn't have the skills to throw someone, so they made someone throw themselves. But Uke also did not have the skills to actually be thrown, and so they kind of, behind closed doors, made a secret handshake. I don't throw you. Cool, I'll throw myself. All right, let's do it, okay? And that's kind of what's happening in this drill, too. Uh, he is trying to hang and relax. I'm trying to hang and relax, okay? And uh, what, you're, what you're seeing is as you go in and you have an attention there, you are now lifting, pushing up off the ground. Do you see that? As opposed to, there's no, there's no intention. So my hand isn't doing anything weird, staying up, having a hang time. Accelerating down. It's just relax, relax. Boom. Relax. I, ha I have to release in the same way that he has to release. Okay, you got that? All right, so we're gonna try it. Okay, I go up and now he's resting on me. Just relax and, re and rest, okay? And you're going to see where I, I'm not going to turn like this. I'm going to turn here. Boom. His weapon is going to miss me. Then he's going to relax, up, rest. Rest on my sword. Okay? And again, I'm going to turn over here. Boom. And he'll miss that elbow. Again, relax, boom, relax, boom. Again, boom, boom. Okay, again, boom. Boom. Again. Boom. Let it drop. Come on. Arrest. Let it drop. Boom. Again. Let it rest. Rest. Everything resting. Drop. Boom. Again. Rest. Okay. Put your arm back out where it was. And you can see my angle. Okay. Some of you. Go back, we'll continue, and here, let it rest, and you're over here. You see that? You, you went too far, and now you got that torque across your in front inner knee, and you're in that goofy tightrope stance. Got it? And your point of rotation was back, which means you did not clear the line, you're on the line, you're on the line, you're on the line, 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 finally off the line, as opposed to off the line. You got it? Okay. So watch that crazy angle. You should be able to touch his arm. I touched his arm and didn't kill you, did it? Okay, so let's go. Okay, okay so we're gonna take that drill uh, and look at it uh, internally, okay? So uh, he's, I, if I brace on this mat in this shallow stance, then he's gonna push me over, okay? But he's trying to push me over, so instead I'm just, I'm just hanging, I'm just hanging, okay? Uh, and all, all his energy, all his energy is going through me, okay? And now I have to do the technique. So I don't want to push on the mat and try to push him back, right? Because what, let's say you got there, you're not gonna be putting this foot there, it's gonna push you off, okay? So uh, what I'm trying to do is, is we're here and I'm gonna try to rotate around this thing. You remember, I'm not gonna try to 
rotate somewhere back here, okay? I want, I want to immediately rotate off of that thing, okay? So he can be straight in front, so he, he's, he's pushing on me, and I'm gonna rotate here, okay? That's my, that's my jump. So watch that your, whoa, whoa, that's not it, okay? You're here, and you're off. Boom, off, okay? Try it again. So it's, it's, it's deceptive, just like when you're trying to do the, the kitty gash, it's deceptive. It's deceptive on what you're doing, okay? And this looks like you're like, uh, trying to do something like that. So um, the, the problem of the, of the pressure, you can see, okay, now he braced on the floor, you see, and now once he, the energy did not go through him, and now he is, uh, you're gonna have the problem of the, of the bracing. So I'm just holding this, this penetration point and then he's gonna, you can go kind of slow. And you see that it's, as he starts to move out of the brace, it compromises his balance, do you see that? Um, so that was him trying to uh, push in, maintain the brace, but move, and you can't, you cannot do that, which is why you often see Nage stop. Nage takes pauses in, their, in the sequence of their Nage Waza because they were bracing and uh, Uke now stops, right? And the only time they don't stop is when the choreographed Uke was never uh, providing any kind of actual um, problem for them. You see, so this is like a problem, okay? So I just want you to feel it. And so he, he did it again. Um, I don't, can you see it or no, you can't see it? Okay, so uh, you see though, so already it's, it, because the initial energy can't go through you, um, I'll demonstrate it, okay? So when Taylor is trying to push me and I can go on one foot, it doesn't, doesn't matter, okay? Uh, because the energy is going through me down to the ground. So uh, there's a very finite limit, and it's quite low, martially speaking, on how much energy you could take. So as I just push a little, do you see? Uh, he would lose that bracing angle war, okay? So, that's the first thing, and that is why all true non-contestation is only possible internally. If you cannot non-contest by moving around externally. It's not possible. You, you are doing these little micro-bracing. You're just not aware of it, okay? So uh, we'll, I'm gonna ease up the tension. Did you feel me ease up the tension? So we don't get that I'm, I'm gonna operate at outside where he wants to brace, okay? So I'm not triggering his bracing. But as he goes to move now, there it is again. Did you see that? You did it now, you pushed into me. Okay, so I'll let you keep going so they can see that. There it is right there, you see? You can't, can't put the foot there. Do you guys see that? So he goes, well, okay. So I'm gonna again, I'm gonna ease off again to not trigger his, his brace. So I'm just here at his surface. I'm not doing spinal displacement so that he has to ground that energy. So I'm just here, I'm gonna ease up there, and then I come over here. We'll look at the last one, okay? So he's going, I'm gonna ease up, sorry. I'm gonna ease up, and then I'm gonna come in, do you see? And this is what we all think is, is what you saw, but it's not what you saw, okay? It's not what you saw. He's, it's a big, strong guy, and he's pushing. There's a lot of energy there, okay? Um, so this, again, goes back to the choreographed uke. So the choreographed uke, who never presents the problem, and then lets themselves go in, do you see? Uh, if I didn't have any energy into his uh, spinal displacement, and he goes, why should I have stepped in? Do you see that? On the other one, I'm pushing it. So when he takes away, uh, the point of contention by first internalizing it, well, I would keep going forward, okay? So as a result, um, because I don't do this, one, I probably will not be able to overpower people like we think we will. Uh, it'll probably compromise my mobility. Um, uh, but 
I won't have them fall into that magic one inch, two inch past their intention, which is the precursor for the Kazushi angles that we're going to take. You see, what we, what we tend to do instead with the choreographed yuke is he goes and the choreographed yuke gets themselves past the, into that one, two inches of overextension, you see? And now Aikidoka think, uh, especially non-Aikidoka, think it only works on the dude who overextends themselves. Everyone will overextend themselves when the target is not where it's supposed to be. Do you get it? And I don't need them to four feet overextend themselves. Boom, that was enough, okay? Which we'll show you next, okay? All right, try the drill again. Okay, so he's going. With me. Into the ground, around. It doesn't mean you're like, but you're not out here. Things are tighter. Okay, try it again. Okay, so we're here, and he, he it goes into the ground. I do the same disappearing. Whoa. Yeah, you'll see the tightness. Not here. It, as, soon as, as soon as you touch him, that, as soon as he touches you, then you can do it. I'm not going like this. As soon as, as soon as I feel him, that's what I'm trying to let go. Okay? You can do it static. Oh, down. You're going to do it static. Boom. You can do it static quickly, so right here you charge, 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 charge. Oh. Or you can have it where he just touches. But I'm going in, not around. In, shield. In, shield. And then you get the two inches, you get, it's an inch, all I need is an inch, half inch even does it, okay? And you get the, what technically is over penetration, but not choreographed over penetration, okay? 